Put well, Man United's a big, heavy link, but sources have told ESPN that Ten Hag isn't a particular pull for Frankie de Jong. No, neither's Man United, to be honest, at the moment. I mean, it's, it's a, I, go and ask his mate, Donny van der Beek. It's been a graveyard. And he wants <laughs> Champions League football. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I mean, it, it's a difficult one because that's a big rebuilding job there. I mean, the obvious connection is the Dutch thing, but I, I don't know. Uh, Look, if he leaves Barcelona, I said he interested in him. Well, Guardiola does uh, like this player. There you go. We've heard that before. The only question I would have over Frankie de Jong and either of those teams is, you know, Mario's talking about, you know, time on the ball. If there's one thing he doesn't like is when there's people scurrying around him, closing him down... And I'm not so sure that he's the greatest at doing it the other way around. So if he goes to Man United, how's he going to get the ball? Because they don't have anybody to get him the ball. And if he goes to City, he's going to have to up his work rate. Because mm -hmm. Pep, Pep won't, won't have anybody not carrying their weight. So I'm, I'm not so sure either of these two teams is, is good for Frankie de Jong. And I would actually say that I don't think Frankie de Jong's game has actually gotten any better since he left Ajax. I don't think he's improved the way people, or certainly I thought he would. So I don't think this is a slam dunk that he's going to one of the, one of the best sides, shall we say. Do you know, if I was looking around Europe for a player at the moment, I'm not, I'm not taken to, to de Jong. I'm not saying Mario knows, better than, knows the guy better than me. I, I think he, he was, Ajax was a terrific player. But as Stevie said, it, it seems to have just plateaued. In fact, it's maybe, not even, maybe not even as good as that. It was taken off in one of the recent games uh, by, by, by Xavi. Whether it's confidence or, or, or just that Barcelona themselves have struggled a little bit, particularly recently, or maybe it's just bad timing for him going to that club. But we certainly have not seen the Frankie de Jong on a regular basis that we saw at Ajax. Uh, and hopefully we do again, but I'm just not quite sure what's going to be the right fit for him. What are your thoughts on what Craig and the boys have just said here, Mario? No, I totally agree, because that's why I highlighted, you know, when you come in the, in the Premier League, you don't have that much time. And we have seen players do it before, and we have seen managers do it before. That's why I think Ten Hag is in a similar situation in the sense of, like, Holland is one competition. Spain is another level because I think it's 10 times higher than what you have in Holland. But then when you come to the Premier League, it's a different thing because the speed of the game, I think Steve made a great comment. Do you get that much time? You're going to a team that's being built. Eh? Man United is a team that they have to build. And now the question comes, if you bring a player in that uh, the way Frankie is playing, he loves the ball, he loves to dictate. He loves to take the time on the ball. But we all know in England, you don't get a lot of time. you got to earn it. Thank you very much for watching ESPN FC on YouTube. For more highlights, analysis and exclusive content, be sure to subscribe.